Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Casey Getting Influenced by TikTok to buy more beauty products. So yes, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey and today I'm going to be showing you guys a product that TikTok made me buy. And when I say TikTok made me buy it, I mean I was heavily influenced by the results and I could not resist and I had to go out and buy it and try it for myself. So today's product is a kind of, I guess, skincare or more hair removal product. And if you don't know me, I am Portuguese. Us Europeans tend to be a lot hairier by nature than a lot of other people. Mind you, I have a good pain tolerance. I can do waxing, um, but the cleanup, not fun. Uh, also, the skin on my legs is extremely sensitive. I don't know why, but it gets these little bumps. Don't know if it's eczema. Don't know if it's keratosis pilaris. Don't know if I have a weird reaction or skin condition or just super sensitive skin on my body. I don't know. But I always seem to get these little red bumps on my legs or on certain parts that like I shave or wax. No matter how delicate I am, it always, always happens. So when I saw this product, I was very intrigued. One, it didn't involve anything to do with waxing or anything else. You just need the one item and it'll pretty much give you permanent hair results after you keep using it a couple times, just like waxing. So this magical product is an epilator. Yes, so an epilator has been out for a long time, okay? I've already known about epilators, but I was always kind of skeptical about whether they would actually work or if they were even worth the money because the one that I got from the store was quite expensive. It's not a cheap epilator, it's a pretty good epilator, okay? And don't mind looking at this because it is slightly used. That's kind of gross, probably should have cleaned it before I shot this video. I'm not gonna lie to you, an epilator hurts. I repeat, an epilator will hurt like it will hurt when you use it okay again i would like to think i have a pretty high pain tolerance but i still cannot get used to the feeling i'm a little bit more used to the feeling now of using an up later okay but at first like i let my hair grow out because i was like i want to you know do it all and get it over with and whatever it first of all took me a long time i would say i had to do one leg on one day don't judge me, okay? Don't judge how much hair I have. It took me one day to do one leg because I needed a break. It was hurting. It took me like an hour to do because I was going very slow. Because it hurt, it was kind of intense. But anyways, let's move on. All you do is you pretty much just turn it on. It has different settings. You can do wet or dry. So you turn it on, sounds scary. Press it again, it goes a little slower. And all you do is you hold it at an angle and you go like this. I like to go back and forth, like back and forward like this slowly and like make my way up. That's just the way I do it. You can find other ways to do it. But personally, that just works for me. And mind you, I haven't used this wet. I've only used it dry. If the hair is too tiny, um, it will miss a little bit. But for the most part, this grabs everything. It just takes a little longer. And obviously you might think, but Casey, why would I want to subject myself to all of this pain? And it's a slower process. Well, I'll tell you why. In the long run, you're gonna thank yourself for one, not having to buy waxing strips and constantly waxing and like just the process of the cleanup. This, you turn on, it does hurt, like I said. All you do is turn this on and go. I put a towel down so if any hair does come off, it'll go on the towel and then I'll wash the towel, okay? Um, and then you just take this and you rinse it in the sink that's it. And then besides that, you just charge it and it can last a long time. I've charged it maybe twice now and I've used it a handful of times already. And girl, when I tell you the hair takes forever to grow back, it takes forever to grow back. And I've used this again, maybe like, to be honest, maybe like four, three or four times now. Most of the hair below my knees, because that's mostly where I used it, is like gone. It's not growing back. It's been weeks, it's not growing back. It's like the tiny little remnant hairs that like got away from the other times, you know? Or like they didn't pluck it out fully. There's barely any hair growing back. So if I go over this maybe, to be honest, maybe another handful of times, your hair's gonna be gone, okay? And then all you would have to do in reality is like maintenance, you know? Like every so often just check, do a little touch up, that's it. I don't want to lie to you guys and say it doesn't hurt and then when you guys use it, you're going to be like, oh, she lied, it hurts. No, 
please just don't be scared of it, but it will hurt. It's like a slower process of yanking a waxing strip off, okay? But do I think an epilator is worth it? 100%, I don't know why I didn't get on this bandwagon a long time ago, because shaving sucks, grows back too quick, and I cut myself, and it gives me a lot of razor bumps. No matter how careful I am, no matter what I do, I get razor bumps and ingrown hairs, and it's just the worst. Waxing, messy, takes a long time anyway, still painful to me, um, and my legs still get a rash, and they're super sensitive and super red for days. Epilator, I mean, you could try sugaring, never tried sugaring, but I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing no matter what I do, no matter how careful I am, no matter how many tips I find on YouTube to be careful for shaving, waxing, whatever, nothing works. Like nothing would work for me. I will use this, it's easy, it's decently okay. Like as long as you don't grow a lot of hair or you maintain it, it's not like, take. it doesn't take a long time to use. And the results are honestly so worth it. I'm so lazy. Like it just cuts back on long-term time having to like maintain and keep doing it. To me, the epilator was so worth it. Let me throw in a quick tip for if you are like me. A tip that I have is use an exfoliating cream on your legs. My favorite one is the CeraVe one. Um, this is just the Renewing SA Cream. This stuff is so hard to find, but this is the only thing that can cure the red bumps on my like my legs or like up here I get a little bit. This is the only stuff that works without spending like 40 to 50 bucks at Sephora. Anyways, that's just a little side tip for you in case you have issues like mine or if you want super soft legs. But anyway, the epilator, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Please, if you are tired of like waxing and doing all the, like doing the most, just get this. I have not tried this on my hoo-ha, okay? I don't want anyone to be like going in gung-ho, like, ooh, let's try it there. No, please. I, I really don't know if that's a good idea. I probably wouldn't recommend that. I would probably stick to your legs, maybe your arms, if you wanna do your arms, underarm. Maybe if you have a little hair on your tummy, you can do it on your tummy. But that downstairs area, like the actual downstairs, I really don't think I would recommend it right now. Only because I don't know anybody that's tried it, I don't wanna tell you to do it and then destroy it, okay? That is my review on the epilator. Thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up to date with all the videos that I do post. And I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.